it was rebuilt since 1594 on the ruins of the original Romanesque chapel. They used the ruins of the walls of the close castle. The porch was added in 1666 thanks to the money of the Briasi company. The bell tower was rebuilt in 1671, because the original one was destroyed by a lightning and it was too low. Inside there was a group of statues, beginning 17th, stolen in 1971, they represented the Annunciation. The frescoes on the façade and the portico, 1622, represent the saints Biagio, Carlo, Cristina, or Eurasia, Girolamo, Francesco, Lucia and Antonio Abate. Next to the church there's Romita's house. The feast was celebrated on Sunday after Easter. Today, between the last Sunday in May and the first one in June. The chapel of San Grado was located in the middle of vineyards of Briasi on top of the hill. Its first name was Santa Croce. They started building it in the late 17th century, but completed in the last few years of the 19th and 20th centuries. On this occasion, the fresco of San Grado, above the altar in Parochial, was painted by Janali Camperdigno. In the Parochiali, on the right side of the presbytery, there is a large painting of the Virgin Mary between San Grado and Santa Eurasia. At the beginning of 18th century, people took the painting in procession to the hill on the day of the feast, September 7th, and back to the parochial, because the chapel wasn't yet closed. Then the procession continued without taking the picture, in recent years the feast is no more celebrated. The small chapel of Madunina is situated on the first hill if you arrive from Borgo Manero. Recently restored by Carlo Bifani who had care of it. Now, you cannot see the frescoes, decorated the sides. Here there is the Virgin with the child in a painting supported by angels. There is a nice view of the plain from here. It is a Romanesque church. It's a jewel, especially for famous ancient frescoes which decorate the apse. Probably, it was a hospitium along the road Francigena. It was a connection between the two lakes and the Virgant. It was abandoned for lots of years. There are still ruins of a cemetery and other ancient signs. The bell tower, partially collapsed, was completely demolished in the early 1900s. Nigra looked after the first restorations in 1918. The frescoes were carried out in 1971. Then the floor was redone and they placed some votive stones of Briga in the church. The feast, which falls on July 3rd, is celebrated on the first Sunday of July. In the 16th century there was a chapel dedicated to the saints Rocco, Sebastiano, and the Blessed Virgin. It was called San Rocino. After the plague in 1631, people decided to build another oratory dedicated to the two saints who protect from these kind of terrible contagious. It was built between 1632 and 1641. The small bell tower was added recently. The feast is celebrated on August 16th. The first oratory was dedicated only to the Blessed Virgin. In 1760 they built the marble altar and the balustrade. In 1763 the small bell tower was finished. The picture is framing by the swag which is the nicest Baroque document in Briga Novaris. The Feast of the Nativity is usually celebrated on the first Sunday of September. The Church of San Giovanni Battista has ancient origins, but the first records we have about this church are dated 13th century. The construction is similar to San Tommaso, maybe it is a little wider. The oldest artifact which is still in the church is the baptismal font dated 1554 when Briga became an independent parish. In the 16th century the church was completely rebuilt, it measured 32 arms long and 12 wide. Inside the church you should notice an old wooden virgin, the painting of the Virgin with Saint Grato and Saint Eurasi and some other paintings all restored thanks to the parish priest Don Luigi Trentani. Outside there is none more the churchyard. We know nothing about the bell tower. The feast is celebrated on June 24th. 
The small chapel of St. Antonio Abate has its origins in the 16th century. It was enlarged by the priest Alberg Anti in 1675, but it has got recently other restorations and further expansion. Inside the image of St. Antonio Abate, over the altar, is missing. There are frescoes of other saints on the side walls. The feast is celebrated on January 17. In the middle of the ellipse there's the octagonal chapel of Madonna del Mato. It was begun in 1606 by disposition of Mr. Antonio Brusati. He especially worked on the frescoes throughout the 17th century. It is situated in the middle of the hill, on its right San Tommaso and on the left Lazar Edo Chapel. This chapel needs restoration and renovation. The frescoes, on the side walls, are disappearing as the painting which adorned the altar. There are still eight angels on the ceiling which, according to Chirinai, remember us those painted by Rocca Martinolio, student of Merzone in Chapel 3 of Sacro Monte di Orda. The feast is celebrated on December 8th. You're welcome.